Hey, what's going on everybody? So it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, it's about 62, 63 degrees. Uh, wind's at about 11 miles per hour, so not too bad. It was colder and windier this morning. That's why I waited till, till now to go out. Um, I was planning on getting out here at around one, but uh, first time taking the boat out this year, so I had to get some stuff ready that's usually uh, ready to go uh, during the summertime. So excited to get the boat out and uh, get on some fish, hopefully. Um, I'm still on the quest for the first fish of 21 our 2021 season and uh, went out a few times um, offshore not a lot of luck it's been nicer um, this spring than usual uh, earlier so you never know what the fish pattern is gonna be like some years it's like this some years it's cold all the way I mean it snows in May sometimes in uh, Wisconsin you just never know so that being said I'm gonna focus on a smaller lake because they usually uh, warm up a little bit faster so I'll be throwing around some uh some smaller uh smaller baits uh maybe target um some crappies and uh if i catch a bass that'd be cool too but uh yeah i'm gonna be throwing around some smaller baits and uh hopefully we have some luck um just waiting to get the boat um off the trailer and into the water and uh yeah so it's supposed to be only get warmer and a little less windy as the day goes on so we'll see how it goes so i hope you stay tuned and i will see you out on the water all right guys so i'm gonna start the day off got the wind in my back i start the day off with this little itty bitty crankbait it looks like a knockoff strike king but it's some I forgot the name of it it is like aggie or something like that All right guys, so switched over to a little trusty uh, red eye shad from Strike King. Maybe be able to get down a little bit deeper. I think it's like about six to eight feet here, I think. Nice when the wind dies down. If the wind's died down this way, I'll take a cast. All right. So I'm gonna switch it up to some a little bit different presentation. A little Mr. Crappy uh, mushroom, or not mushroom, sausage head. I've never caught anything off this bait before. Then again, I just started using it this year. So, see if we can slow down the presentation and get some luck. Water's pretty chilly still. That's a bite. Good 
Got a little excited there, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if we can get him to come back. Nice. Gotta go get that. <sighs> Knew that was gonna happen. All right, well, might as well move while I'm at it. I'll be back. All right, guys, so got my lure out of the tree and we made a little move a little bit farther down. So I've been fishing this lake for quite a while now and uh, that there is brand new. Not sure if they're trying to make a duck blind. I know there's a few old duck blinds in this lake. Or if they're doing some kind of dock or swim platform. I don't know, but it gets pretty weedy right there where that thing's built. So I'm thinking it's like a, it's gotta be a duck blind. That's what my thought is. Definitely, definitely new though. fish that was a fish it's still on we got one fish fish on where'd it go down the down the anchor down the anchor down the anchor oh it came off it came off oh my god it came off on the anchor that was not very big though oh man son of a biscuit right into the anchor right into the anchor line all right well maybe there's more Once you know the first fish of this, the year and I lose it. It wasn't big though. It was not big at all. Oh, that's fish! Holy cow! First fish! First fish! Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, I saw him. Woo! Look at that guy. Had no idea he was even on there. Holy smokes. It's probably the same size. You are cold too. Holy cow, look at this guy. So my wife just texted me about something. And I checked it. And this little dude hit this little lure I can't get it out of his mouth oh come on all right I gotta get the pliers but I got my first fish of 2021 and it is a absolute brute it's stuck him good too holy cow Come on, this should not be that hard. All right. Dude. Look at this guy, holy cow. Off a little bitty. Come on. All right guys, so I'm gonna, I didn't have any more luck on the, on the lip list. Um, switch back over to this uh, sausage head. kind of crazy when I first started coming to this lake you see that tree right there hanging out of the water up against the shoreline I used to fish off that you could actually walk the shoreline where it's all flooded now the tree
trail right there. You walk that shoreline and get onto that tree, and I could actually walk out onto that tree. And that's actually where I caught my first first bass out of this lake at. And it was like a pretty good size one too. So I used to come here and fish from shore from that spot right there, but those days are over. It's, this lake has, uh, water level has risen uh, pretty significantly over the years. So there's a few spots that you can still fish from shore, but that spot was definitely pretty, pretty good. So it's kind of crazy how, how it's changed over the years. Okay, everybody, we moved back to the other side of the lake. Well, actually, the other lake. Start making my way back to the the car. Back into the wind. Crazy. You'd think this would be a really good spot. Don't know where these fish are. It's not a fish, that is something that I don't want to catch. Oh man. No! Well, oh, man. Alright. I'll be back. Stay tuned. Yes, it snagged. Unless that's a fish. There's no way. No way. That is a fish. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, man. That felt like a... Oh my god. Oh my god. I do not have a net either. Holy sh holy cow. Holy cow. I do not have a net either. That is a giant. Oh my god! Ah, holy, holy smokes! Holy smokes! I had no idea that was a fish. Oh, oh, that might be a PB. That might be a PB, guys. Holy smokes! Oh, I gotta catch my breath. Oh my god, I am out of breath. Well, off the mushroom, the sausage head. Look at this, look at this bass. 
Oh my god, look at how fat that is. I gotta sit down. I have got to sit down. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not have a net either. Sorry, you probably can't see anything. Holy smokes, that is a PB. That is my PB. Oh my god. I actually have a scale. I hope to god the battery works on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is definitely a PB. Hopefully this battery works. Come on. Battery's not working. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, he smokes. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. I do not have a... Do not have a, bat, uh, a scale that works. I don't have a net. I don't have a scale. Unbelievable guys, this is definitely a PB for me. I can't get a weight because I don't have a scale. Look at the size of this bass. Holy smokes, I, I can at least get a measurement. All right guys, I can't get a weight on him or her, but I'm gonna let her go. It's been out of the water long enough, so holy cow, thank you, thank you. There it goes. Oh man, that stinks, I couldn't get a weight on it. I gotta get a new scale. I was not expecting that though. Holy smokes. That was nuts. That was nuts. Everything's uh, 19 and a half. 19, 19 and a half long. 16 girth. It was not long, but it was heavy. That was definitely a PB. My scale does not work. I'm going out and buying a new scale. That's unbelievable. I got this cheap little scale, guys. And I guess I haven't used it in a while. I don't even know how to get the battery out. Um, and of course, the batteries. That is worked every time since I bought it. And it's old. It's a few years old. And the battery finally died on it. That was a wall hanger out of this lake. Holy cow. That was at least at least five pounds at least oh man well <laughs> see if we can uh i had no idea it was even on off this little off this little sausage head holy smokes i had no idea i thought it was i thought it was it was stuck at, as casted right into that little area so i'm using the fluger President reel, I think it's a 30 size, and then this is my new Celis Shimano rod, which I like a lot so far. The only thing I don't like is the hook keeps way down here instead of up here. But other than that, it's a six foot. I'm using the sausage head with, uh, I think it's eight pound um, uh, copolymer uh, P line. So I was not expecting that. Holy smokes! Man, I wish I had my scale working. Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm back at the at the car. I got everything all packed up and everything. So um, it is a beautiful day, beautiful night out. I could have stayed out there longer, but I uh, got to get going home. Um, it's like 70 degrees out and the winds died down. It's it's beautiful for uh, early, early April in Wisconsin. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I think I got a little bit of sun too actually today. So, um, but anyway, uh, 
kind of surprising uh time out uh for the first time on the boat um pretty sh pretty sure pretty pretty confident i caught my uh, pb uh large mouth today um on a uh sausage head um mr crappy uh a bait that i've never really used before i wasn't even really targeting uh, bass today but uh caught two one was probably the smallest <laughs> one of the smallest bass i've ever caught and then uh caught it caught that good one um there too so uh pretty cool of course my scale um i've had a little little crappy scale i've had for a few years now and it's always worked and of course the one day that i really really wanted it it's uh battery was dead so um but it is what it is i did get a get, did get some measurements on it and i'm pretty sure that thing was pushing over five pounds um so pretty cool i'm pretty happy with that so the season just began so uh should be a lot more action to come um as the water gets warmer the water's pretty cold still so uh uh yeah but not not too bad of a start for the first time out on the boat i'll take it um but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video these cars keep driving by it's kind of loud um hope you guys enjoyed today's video um if you did give me a thumbs up uh if you liked it if you didn't give me a thumbs down i guess uh it's all up to you. Uh, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys stay tuned for some more videos. Go check out some of my other ones that I got up. And uh, yeah, so thanks for thanks for tuning in. And I uh, hopefully I will see you guys soon. And remember, there's always time for one more cast. See you later.